Hello everyone and welcome back to Hair with a Twist. Today I am starting off my Halloween tutorial series. In case you couldn't tell, I'm going to be showing you how to do this Rosie the Riveter. Halloween costume. Super fun, super easy, so fast, so quick to do. So this is a great thing if you're a mom and you're going to go trick-or-treating with your kids and you want to kind of dress up without going all out or if you're going out more than once for Halloween and you need a second costume that's going to cost you literally a couple dollars to do, this is the costume for you. Or if you're not that into Halloween and you want something really easy and fast and no fuss, again, this is for you. So let's get started. You're going to want to section off a piece of hair in the bang area, where bangs would be on your head, and kind of swoop it forward towards your temple so it's not going all the way down to your ear. And then take the rest of your hair and just tie it in a braid, nice and tight, and then we're going to pin that to our head so it's nice and flat. You don't want any bulk here for when you have the scarf on, is basically why we're doing this. So I was Rosie the Riveter for Halloween seven years ago now, which is crazy. Crazy. We were in Disney actually and so this was a great easy costume to still be able to function and have fun throughout the day of wearing a costume all day long. I actually had bangs then. I'll put a picture here of from that same trip. So you can see they're kind of a longer bang but definitely still straight across. So they're pretty short and I was able to pin them up and still do this hairstyle. It just takes a little bit more work to do that. Um, but it's definitely still something you can do. So if you have shorter hair or if you have bangs, you can still make this hairstyle work. So here's a picture of Michael and I from that same trip and with Pooh and Tigger. And he was an extreme Red Sox fan, but he was very upset because no one thought it was a joke and didn't realize he was a Yankees fan making fun. They just, people were commenting, oh yeah, go Red Sox. So he was not pleased, but we had a great time. We will be back in Disney for Halloween this year and I cannot wait. So just stick of as many bobby pins in there as you need. If your hair's thicker, you'll need more. If it's really fine, thin hair, you'll just need a couple. But you just want it nice and flat to your head. And that's what makes this so easy is the majority of your hair, you don't have to do anything to it. The next thing you're going to want to do is take from the center of your, each eyebrow and take a section of hair and then you're going to separate that into three sections. Then start with the center one and roll the piece up onto itself and you're making a pin curl. Literally just rolling it right up. If you have a lot of layers or your hair doesn't have much texture to it, so it's kind of slippery, you can do some spray wax, I think would be best. If you don't have that, you could do hairspray or even just a little water. And then you're gonna take your bobby pins and you want the straight side up as you're putting it in. That's gonna, yeah, see, straight side up. That's gonna help you grab the hair as you're sticking the bobby pin in. And you wanna pin it into the back half so not in the front in the back half of that circle so that it's not that the center part is open and that's going to keep it into place and you're not going to see once we put the scarf on you're not going to see the back half of those pin curls so even if you can kind of see the bobby pins it's not going to matter because we'll hide it with the scarf so then you want to go to the next side and pin them up and you're going to just repeat the same process of rolling the hair up like you're rolling a ribbon, coiling a ribbon, and then pinning them into place. It might take more than one bobby pin if you have some pieces sticking up. Like in the middle there, I have that end kind of sticking up. So just add another bobby pin. She's 
is a part of the assembly line. She's making history, working for victory. Rosie, the riveter, keeps a sharp lookout for sabotage. Sitting up there on the fuselage, that little frill can do more than a bill can do. Rosie, the riveter, Rosie's got a boyfriend, Charlie. Charlie, he's a Marine. Rosie is protecting Charlie, working all the time on the riveting machine. When they gave her a production knee, she was a proud... That on this last one, you'll see I had some strands sticking out, so I just gave a small little twist to the hair, and that just helps keep all the shorter layers in place as you're rolling it up. So this is going to be the last one we'll do. So there's five across the front of your head, and pin that right down and you're basically done after that. So I got this fabric from Joann's, again, seven years ago, but I mean, it's so basic, just red with white polka dots. And I'm gonna double check the dimensions, but I think it's two feet square. And then fold it in half, put the long piece around your neck, lift up the ends. And the biggest thing here is you're going to want it nice and tight to your head. So tuck all of the corners in so that you're, when you tie the two sides across, you're holding them in place. Just like you would tie a bandana, even if you were wearing it the other way on your head, you tuck those pieces in. You're just doing this on the front. And it's okay if you hit your pin curls a little bit. You can just stick another bobby pin in and fix them. So then you're going to tie a double knot on the top. All the day long with the rain or shine. She's a part of the assembly line. She's I have a very large head, so you will probably have some extra fabric if you get the same size as I do. But I'm talking ginormous. When I was in my sister's wedding when I was six, I had a flower crown and the floor showed up because he wanted to measure my head in person because he did not believe that a six-year-old's head could be that large. So you might not need this much fabric. So just tie in a double knot and then that tail that's sticking out in the front underneath, just tuck it in. Not super far because you don't want it to fall out, but just enough so that it's hidden. And then just fix any curls that might have come loose. This is a string from the fabric, I'm not pulling out a piece of hair. It kind of looks like that. And then I had a, one curl come loose, so just add another bobby pin. And again, you can't see the bobby pins. So that's what's so great about it. So it makes it really fast. And then of course, you need a nice bold red lip. This is NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Monte Carlo. You can get it at the drugstore for like $6. I actually really like um, these lipsticks a lot. They stay really well and last a really long time. And there you have it. You are now officially Rosie the Riveter. Check back every Friday this month for more Halloween tutorials. Thanks, guys.